YouTube. So today I have another video for my opinions about series. And today I'm going to be talking about the TV show Good Omens. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tori Cyclic. I make new videos every Sunday for Cyclic Sunday with other videos throughout the week. If you like what you see, like this video down below and subscribe while you're down there as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description at TSS6295. Now, let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm putting that in. Are you really? I'm going to. Okay. Just so you know, this is going to be like a non-spoilery review of the show because like I don't want to ruin it for anybody and also like you should go watch it yourself, but I'm just going to be talking about my opinions about things that I've, I love about the show. So Good Omens is a TV show on Amazon Prime based off of the book by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. It stars Michael Sheen and David Tennant as the angel Aziraphale and the demon Crowley who are trying to figure out how to save the world before Armageddon finally arrives. When I heard about this show, I was super excited about it because as I've probably mentioned on my channel before, I am a huge fan of David Tennant. So I was like, I love seeing David Tennant in something. I haven't seen him in anything in a very long time. So I'm very excited to watch him in a show. And Michael Sheen is somebody that he always pops up in random TV shows and movies. And I always enjoy watching him. So I was like, they're probably gonna be great together. And then it's also written by Neil Gaiman. I haven't read a lot of Neil Gaiman stuff, but I've like, I loved his episodes that he did for Doctor Who. I think it was The Nightmare in Silver and there's another one that he wrote as well that was in within like Matt Smith seasons and I thought those were really standout episodes so I was like I'm probably gonna enjoy this show I might as well watch it. I've also heard a lot about the book Good Omens which is by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett and I do really want to read the book so I was like I should probably read the book before watching the show, but I know that's probably not gonna happen, so I'm gonna watch the show and then read the book afterwards. Michael Sheen and David Tennant in their both respective parts as Aziraphale and Crowley play these parts so well, and they also have a really, really good chemistry with each other. Honestly, within watching the first five minutes of the first episode of the show, I was like, I know I'm gonna love watching the two of them act together because they bounce off each other really well acting-wise. Michael Sheen plays a lot of Aziraphale's like worries and anxieties about Armageddon and everything regarding the Antichrist really really well that it bounces really well off of David Tennant and David Tennant plays a lot of the like no care badass kind of attitude of Crowley really really well too it creates a lot of good chemistry between the two actors the writing for the show is very very funny there's a lot of witty humor and smart humor that goes on throughout the show and it really makes it enjoyable to watch in a different kind of way because it personally thinking about the like end of days and Armageddon and end of the world it's not something I like to think about but I talked about this when I talked about the show you me and the apocalypse it was the same kind of idea that they make the end of the world and Armageddon kind of funny in you me and the apocalypse as well as good omens they take a very interesting angle to it that makes it not like seeming like it's so terrible but it makes it seem like oh, okay this is the kind of thing that we need to change in our, our world to make the end of the world not happen but also a very funny angle on it as well. There's a lot of really great actors in the show besides David Tennant and Michael Sheen, including Nick Offerman, John Hamm, and Francis McDormand. They're all in kind of roles that I feel like I haven't seen them in before. I don't really know Francis McDormand's work a lot, but this seems like a role that she hasn't played before from what I've seen of her like in movie previews and other things like that. And she plays the voice of God. And just having her voice as a narration throughout the show is really nice one because God is a woman, which I think is really, really interesting and a really cool take on like the world of God as well as like creation and the angels and devils and all that kind of stuff. But also she brings kind of like a warm sense to the show because it is about the end of the world. Nick Offerman plays a character that I, I literally didn't recognize it was him except for his voice because he looks very different from his normal look that he usually has as Ron Swanson. And John Hamm plays the angel Gabriel. It kind of reminds me a bit of his character on 30 Rock but in a much smarter sense. I'm gonna talk a little bit about David Tennant because I love him so much but his, his acting in this show is just so so good. There's a scene in one of the episodes where he has like a whole monologue to plan and it's just so well acted and it reminded me a lot of his monologues that he did as Hamlet. He like acts so well with an invisible partner and it's it's just really good to watch and learn from as an actor. He also has some of the best costumes in the show. Crowley changes appearances a lot throughout the show but like his consistent thing is his glasses that he wears, his sunglasses and his red hair but there's so many different looks. I mean Come on, like, he looks amazing in all of them. Right in episode one, there's a really, really, really strong setup to what the show is gonna be about because of the mistakes that the characters make at the beginning. Within like, maybe the first 15 minutes of the first episode, you see exactly 
a bit of where the show is going to be going and like the directions it could be going off into but you know like what the setup is and how it's going to fall apart later on in the show. The cinematography for the show is also really well done as well because there's a lot of big sweeping scenes of showing like things throughout time with an angel and a devil going through different time periods but then it also has like really gorgeous close-up shots and really well filmed and well composed things that make it like really awesome to watch. I love when a show is well produced and you can tell that the work's been done but it seems very effortless. So those are my opinions about Good Omens. If you've watched the TV show let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. If you've read the book let me know what you also think about it in the comments down below. If you want to go watch Good Omens you can watch it on Amazon Prime. There's only one season. I don't know if there's going to be another one. I think there should but Whatever they decide to do with it, go watch Good Omens on Amazon Prime. It is fantastic. And as always, if there's anything you want to see on my channel, let me know about that in the comments down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching DFTBA, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.